What is going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be an interesting one. It is going to be how to install and get Windows 10 for under $10. So today's video is going to be in a five step process. The first step is going to be installing Windows 10 on a flash drive. That is going to be the first step. So if you don't have your computer handy, let's say you're installing a new hard drive like I'm going to be doing, um, or you have a blue screen of death, or your computer has viruses, or it's just totally messed up and you need a fresh install of Windows, this video is going to help you. And this is for everybody out there. It's going to be made very simple and very cheap. If you buy the code from Microsoft, I believe it's around $99, but this is how to do it for under 10. Legitly, you can get rid of that little activate Windows uh, freaking pop-up that pops up when you have an illegitimate copy of Windows. This is 100% legit and will work on any PC, laptop. Um, I believe you can even install it on a Mac if you wanted to. Well, I don't know why you would, but you can. So, let's get started. If you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. I'll put the subscribe button around right here. I don't know. It'll be around here somewhere. So, <laughs> if you can, please subscribe. Um, if you like the video, please like. All right, guys. So, what we're going to need for this video, and girls, sorry, I just said guys, are flash drives. Um, doesn't have to be two. It could be one. It could be SanDisk. It could be Philips. It could be a no brand. It doesn't matter. As long as it's above eight gigs to install the Windows 10 software on that we're going to be using, you need a flash drive. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You can use a CD, but not many people use CDs nowadays. And not a lot of computers, just like my uh, Lenovo Yoga, doesn't have a CD port. Uh, I can't put a CD drive, sorry, not port, into the computer. Um, so I have to use a flash drive. So the other thing you need that's very important is a working Windows PC. It could be Windows 10, 7, does not matter what version of Windows. It cannot be Mac. They do not make the Windows tool for Mac. It needs to be a PC. It doesn't matter whose PC. It could be your mom's, your sister's. As long as it works enough to create the bootable flash drive, that's all that matters. And the third thing, which is optional, is a new hard drive. For me, I am going to be installing this new hard drive just so I could show everybody a clean install of Windows with a product key for under $10. I'm going to be installing a new hard drive on my computer and installing Windows. So uh, that should basically wrap up the tool list. You don't really need anything else, just a working computer, flash drives, and an optional new hard drive. So let's move on. Step one, install Windows on a flash drive and make it a bootable one. So for this, we're gonna jump over the computer and install the software. Now that your flash drive is plugged in and you're ready to go on your computer, you're gonna to have to download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool by Microsoft. The easiest way to get this is in the description below, or if you'd like, you could just Google Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and it should be the first link that pops up from Microsoft.com. So once you obtain this program, you hit Download Tool Now and install it. Once installed, it'll pop up. You'll connect your USB thumb drive, flash drive, whatever you want to call it, to the program, and it'll make it a bootable Windows 10 flash drive. So Windows Creation Tool helped us create this bootable Windows 10 flash drive. So the next step in this process, for me, which is optional for you, if you just want to clean install Windows, or you just have a blue screen of death or a virus and you're installing Windows, you can skip ahead. But for me, I am installing a new hard drive that I picked up on Amazon. It is the SK Hynix, and it's a 500 gig SSD. If you're using an old hard disk drive, I definitely recommend upgrading to an SSD. Um, I've been using SSD for years now. Uh, when 120 gigabyte one was over $110, now you can pick them up for $10 for the 120 gig. But this 500 gig was $59. I picked it up on Amazon. The link is in the description below. So as you see, I pulled off the two panels on my computer to install the new hard drive. My hard drive is mounted up here. It's an old Samsung. So I'm going to have to unscrew it, install this one, and then we're going to jump back on the computer and plug in our flash drive.
At this point, you might have to enter the BIOS. If you plugged your USB in and started your computer, and it did not automatically boot into the Windows 10 boot sequence, you will have to do this. So enter your BIOS. It differs from brand to brand, from motherboard to motherboard. So once in your BIOS, you have to go to your boot tab and set USB as the top priority. After you've done that, save changes, restart your computer, and it will boot from the Windows 10 flash drive. Once your computer boots up, you'll be in the Windows 10 setup. You click on install now, and you wait while setup is starting. You hit I don't have a product key, you can select Windows 10 Home, and hit next. After that, you accept the license term, hit next again, hit on custom install Windows only. Select your hard drive and hit next and installing Windows window will pop up and we'll start installing Windows. After the Windows setup is complete, you will be prompted to restart your computer. Once restarted, you can remove the flash drive and continue the installation process. During the setup process, you'll be prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account, email, phone, or Skype. To avoid this and make a local account, type in user. After that, type in the password 123. You will receive the error message, oops, something went wrong. Someone has entered an incorrect password for this account too many times. You'll click on next and it'll let you create a local account. After your first boot up, I definitely recommend going to Windows Update Settings. This will give you at least 99% of your drivers and they will be installed directly by Microsoft. And you can also check your activation status. Now is the fun part, purchasing the Windows 10 key and registering Windows. So you can click on the link in the description below for the eBay page with the Windows 10 activation keys or you can go to eBay yourself and type in Windows 10 activation keys. So I found one for $6.90 from a seller who had 345 positive feedbacks and had 100% positive feedback. So I felt very confident in making this purchase, so I did. He said on his post, instant delivery within four to 10 minutes or something of that nature. And you know what? I got the product key pretty quickly within about 15 to 20 minutes. I wouldn't say it was instant. I copied the product key, went back to Windows and activated the computer. As soon as I put the product key in, I hit next and waited. It loaded, took some time to load. Um, I guess it's Microsoft servers accepting the key and it asked me if I wanted to activate Windows. Of course, that's why I'm putting a key in here. So I hit activate. Then after waiting some more, eventually it accepts my activation key and tells me that Windows has been activated. If you stuck with me this far, you saw that we were able to install Windows on a brand new hard drive for under $10. Whether you're using this video to get rid of a virus, reformat your hard drive, or install a new hard drive with Windows legitimately for under $10, good for you. You're doing the right thing. You're getting rid of that stupid little pop-up that's going to pop up and annoy you if you don't do, the, do it legitimately. And you're going to enjoy having your Windows computer and being able to update with all the updates that come with Microsoft. So, if you saw the title of this video, it says I'm going to be giving one key away for Windows 10. So in order to enter for that, you have to comment in the comments, Windows, subscribe and like, of course. If you guys 
really enjoyed my video and want to subscribe and like anyway, I appreciate that too. And if you want to see future videos more about Windows and activating products such as Premiere Pro, Photoshop, stuff like that and getting them for a cheaper cost, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that guys, that's it for me for today and all I have to say is, peace.